What Simlish words do you understand? Susu. Okay, that one is pretty easy. <laughs> dag dag. Another easy one. Nubu. Nubu. Oh, okay, maybe you got that. Uksapa. Falabo. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Hey! Have you ever wondered about Simlish? How did they invent it? Can someone become fluent in it? Is it only ever used in The Sims? I wondered some of that myself, to be honest. So I looked into it, and this is what I found. Back in the late 90s, Will Wright needed a language for the people in his simulation games. He believed that if the game used real-life languages, it would cause the dialogue to become repetitive as well as expensive if they wanted to translate it into different languages. Even still, he experimented with using Navajo, a Native American language. In the end, he decided that he wanted to use a language made up of gibberish words, therefore allowing the dialogue to be open for different interpretations. The gibberish also made it harder for players to be able to recognize and realize that there is a repetition within the speech. There's traces of a ton of different languages within the Simlish, alongside the gibberish, of course. The creation of Simlish took place as the developers and various other Maxis employees worked with voice actor Stephen Curran in the recording booth. At first, they had Curran perform using simplified versions of real-life languages. However, it wasn't really working out. That was when Curran asked if he could try an improv game called Foreign Poet. Essentially, one person retells a poem in gibberish while the listener is asked to interpret it. It was during the game when everyone in the room realized gibberish might be the way to go. Kieran was asked if he had a female counterpart that he would want to work with. He responded with Gary Lalor. During the recordings, Kieran and Lalor would improvise the actual sound of Simlish. They were given props like your sim is feeling hungry, angry, or flirty, and they were allowed to respond with whatever gibberish they wanted to use. They would remain in the recording booth for hours upon hours trying different things with this newfound gibberish language. Simlish was born! It became the official language of Sim Nation, which is the fictional country in which all of the Sims games take place in. The first time Simlish was used was in Max's 1996 flight simulator video game called Simcopter. At this point, Maxis had already released Sim City in 1989, Sim Earth in 1990, Sim Ant in 1991, Sim Life in 1992, and Sim City 2000 in 1993. Simlish has become especially prominent in the Sims franchise, starting with The Sims in 2000. Nowadays, there are many phrases that have become commonly known, as well as many artists who have performed their music in Simlish. Simlish has been developed further and has way more recognizable words than ever before. On top of that, there's plenty of resources you can utilize to try to piece together what certain Simlish words mean. There's dozens of translators, articles, dictionaries, and even videos that are available if you want to learn Simlish. There's even a TikTok trend where a person can try to be a sim voice actor that actually started with a real life voice actor. I have her TikTok account linked down below. Did you know you can actually hear Simlish in Will Wright's later game called Spore? You can teach your Spore Simlish. That's very cool. In addition, Simlish is featured in all of the other Sims games, not just the main Sims franchise, like SimCity or My Sims and stuff like that. So even though originally Simlish was only gibberish, it seems like someone can actually learn it, right? There's a ton of resources. It couldn't be that hard to learn it. Unfortunately, you wouldn't be able to become absolutely fluent in it. Real quick, isn't it exciting when you hear a popular song in The Sims? I love being able to recognize popular real-life songs while playing the game. Actually, when I was playing recently, I recognized the song Nicknames by the band Dayglow. It got me super excited. To take even further, there's a video of Katy Perry performing Last Friday Night for Sims 3. It's crazy watching this. There's been dozens of popular artists or bands who have performed in Simlish nowadays, which is pretty cool. What's your favorite Simlish song? Let me know in the comments. Okay, okay, that's cool and all. But doesn't that mean I could become fluent in Simlish? If they have musicians perform in Simlish, there must be an official dictionary somewhere. 
Not really. Actually, the voice actors have dictionaries, but that's about it. There are no official dictionaries. Despite the fact that there's well-known words or sayings, like soul soul or woofum, woofum, <laughs> it's still not possible to be fluent in Simlish. This is simply due to the fact that Simlish was improvised, thus lacking the structure that is required for language learning or communication in said language. What about Star Trek's Klingon or Dothraki from Game of Thrones? Those are two fictional languages that you can actually learn. Dothraki is actually a language you can use while using Duolingo. Still, you won't be finding Simlish on Duolingo anytime soon. This is because unlike those two languages, Simlish lacks defined parts of speech. I know it's majorly disappointing knowing that you won't be able to fully understand your sims or have secret simlish conversations with your friends, but I think this is probably for the best for the game. If simlish was easy to translate, it would take away from the player's storyline, their imagination, and creativity. In my opinion, that's not a good thing. So I'm happy with simlish being gibberish. Thank you so much for watching the whole video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Sims and Paralyzed related content. Thank you again, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye!